Welcome to China Connect. We're your laugh out loud passport to China's best. Explore and let's discover China now with a giggle. Today, we have a thrilling story to share with you, a story that takes us back approximately 200,000 years to the Pleistocene era. Imagine a time when woolly mammoths roamed the earth, and our ancestors fought for survival with little more than stone tools and fire. It's a wild ride, so hold on to your hats. Recently, a significant breakthrough was made at the Zhukudian Peking Man site in China. For the first time in 50 years, a Pleistocene human fossil was discovered. Now, that might not sound like much, but let me tell you, in the world of paleoanthropology, this is like stumbling upon a hidden treasure chest, the research team from the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences made this discovery using a series of advanced techniques, such as CT scanning and 3D reconstruction. The fossil identified from the mammalian fossils at the 15th site of Zhukudian is the only human parietal bone fossil of Peking man in the world. It's like finding the missing piece of a jigsaw puzzle that's been sitting incomplete for centuries. The discovery of this parietal bone is a key piece of evidence for exploring the regional evolution of early humans at the Zucudian site. But that's not the end of the story. Nope, this discovery is even more spectacular for another reason. Finding ancient human fossils from different periods in the same site is very rare worldwide, said Wu Xiuji, a researcher at the institute. For nearly a century, the Homo erectus fossils found at Zucudian's first site have been the focus of scholars around the world. They have been instrumental in the study of human evolution. However, these important fossils, along with those found in the Shantung Cave, were lost during World War II. What remains today are four teeth from 1921 and 1923, eight teeth, two limb fragments, a frontal bone, and an occipital bone fragment discovered after the founding of New China. But this discovery, my friends, has added another precious piece to our understanding of the Peking man, the newly discovered human parietal bone fossil is yellow-brown, fully fossilized, and its thickness, curvature, and dimensions are roughly equivalent to the right parietal bone of the Homo erectus skull found at Zucudian. While the human fossils discovered at the first site of Zucudian are about 500,000 years old and attributed to Homo erectus, this newly discovered parietal bone is from the late Middle Pleistocene. About 200,000 years ago, as we journey through time, from 500,000 years ago to 200,000 years ago, we find that as human brain volume increased, changes occurred in the size and shape of the skull. This is reflected in the elongation of the parietal bones, shortening of the frontal bones, and an increase in height. Now we can use the newly discovered parietal bone and a bit of 3D virtual mirror magic to estimate its approximate brain volume and the evolution characteristics of its cranium. However, since we lack facial skeletons, we cannot yet reconstruct the individual's appearance. But, hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? This discovery also adds a new human fossil location to the Zucudian site. The 15th site of Zucudian, located about 70 meters from the first site, was discovered in 1932. Systematic excavations conducted from 1934 to 1937 unearthed a large number of stone tools and mammalian fossils. The age of these artifacts is also from the late Middle Pleistocene, approximately 200,000 years ago, the research team used new technologies such as CT scanning and 3D modeling to identify this human parietal bone. The fossil was heavily mineralized, slightly deformed, and its surface was corroded by sediment layers. However, the new technology enabled the team to see the internal anatomical structure of the bone, providing technical support for the identification of human fossils. The human fossils found at the first site of Zucudian are about 500,000 years old. The fossils found in the Shantung Cave and nearby Paddy Field Cave are between 30,000 and 40,000 years old and belong to early modern humans. The human fossils from the intermediate stage are only a tooth from the fourth site. The discovery of human fossils at the 15th site of Zucudian will help in-depth anatomical and molecular biological studies of human evolution in this region. 
It provides essential and critical specimen materials for exploring the evolutionary patterns of ancient humans in China, and it's an empirical testament to the million-year history of human survival and evolution in the Beijing area. In summary, this discovery is a significant leap forward in the field of paleoanthropology and human evolution. It fills a critical gap in our understanding of human evolution in the Zucudian region during the late Middle Pleistocene, around 200,000 years ago. Combining these new findings with the previously discovered Homo erectus fossils, we can now build a more complete and continuous picture of the human evolutionary journey in this region, moreover, with the application of advanced technologies such as CT scanning and 3D modeling, we can extract and analyze more detailed information from these fossils, giving us a more precise understanding of the anatomy and morphology of these early humans. This discovery emphasizes the significant role that the Zucudian site plays in the study of human evolution. It has provided us with priceless insights into our ancient ancestors and continues to do so with the unearthing of this new human parietal bone. We eagerly anticipate future findings from this site and the greater understanding of our past that they will bring. Thanks for exploring China with us. Hit like, comment, and share for laughs. Subscribe and drop your thoughts below. Let's keep showcasing this amazing nation. See you in the next funny video.